welcome to the inaugural video for the Gun Guru channel. Now, most of you may know me from the other channel where I work, um, but there's a lot of things that we can't do on that channel as we don't sell the products, um, higher ups or wh whoever is not interested in that type of subject matter versus I know a lot of you are curious. So I decided, you know what, instead of just doing it at work, I might as well do it on my own too. Um, and then we can expand and talk more about all that cool stuff that uh, people are interested in. Uh, things like, uh, I don't know, like cleaning equipment, which we've talked about before. Um, optics, one of my favorite subjects. Um, not throwing the optic. Uh, we cover subjects like uh, I don't know, let's see. Like, what kind of watch should you get for every day? Why, why going like with a G-Shock over something more expensive, whether it be a Citizen or, or whatever? Um, what makes more sense, so on and so forth? Or going with just like a plain Garmin? Um, we're not gonna be like, oh, you should go out and buy a Rolex. It's more realistic, guys. Nobody's doing that. All right. I mean, if you got the money for it, great. If not, but I don't have the money to just run out and grab a Rolex. And if I did, I'm sure I'd get murdered by my wife, which you guys all know who she is. Uh, we'll cover things like um, backpacks, um, urban recce equipment, things like that, which they don't want to cover on the other channel. So it'll be everything from simple, um, you know, your your military style camo backpack with a built-in camel back things like that uh, molly everywhere it's all camouflage uh, honestly for urban environments this is not what you want to have even having something like um, this regular black one does say an array on it still got molly uh, these are good backpacks for day-to-day -day use, but if you're trying to blend in and look like the gray man um, You're gonna want to want to avoid things like that. Uh, we can cover things like the uh, The fanny pack uh, you can see how much we use this one it still has tags on it um, All these were in storage. I had to pull them out But you can see like for you know purple blue his and hers um, all that's for whether it be for bugging in, bugging out, or recon, so on and so forth. Um, covering things like um, why going going with something more like a traditional camping backpack, real nice and big, um, or hiking. Why sometimes this isn't a really good idea. Um, because of the height that it sits at and you can't go prone, things like that. Um, cover basically also my complete setup in my Mystery Ranch bag. Everything from uh, night vision and all the other parts that or all the things that go into it. Um, you know, this is a good like get home bag, a good survival bag. It is not set up for a bug out bag. It's only a, a two day assault pack. So you're not getting very far. Um, and without supplies, things like that, you're, you're gonna die very quickly. And of course, we'll always be talking about firearms. We will always cover guns um, and holsters and all the other cool accessories that go with it. But mainly today, I wanted to focus on things that are going on in the world. Um, right now the economy is crumbling around us banks are failing left and right everything seems to be on fire um, and people are really getting worried the other day uh, I was at the store looking just for a uh, simple Sawyer filter I was at Walmart and they were cleaned out so obviously there's something in the air where even common people are going and seeking items that are generally ignored. So whether it be uh, gravity bags for water, the Sawyer filters, uh, knives, axes, 
all the the camping tacticals so all that stuff was cleaned out uh, luckily I was able to just source a couple of filters on Amazon while I was standing in the aisle but with all that going on my biggest concern outside of people losing their money you gotta understand I'm not just uh, I always joke that I'm not that smart I'm not, I'm not just a root I actually have an MBA I understand how our financial system works um, I understand more in depth than most people all right um, with economic failure comes hard hard times and people don't know what to do I mean it, pulling cash out doing a run on the bank your local bank things it's never a good idea you guys should be set up long beforehand because you run to the bank you, you clean them out you have all these greenbacks that's great but if our economy just craps out on us and it's the money's going to be worthless so what do we need to get instead of that money what can we have on hand all right my suggestions are just basic things you can pick up every day uh, my wife and I were just joking about uh, hard liquor you know if end of times were to come the zombie apocalypse or whatever hard liquor is always going to be able to be traded because once nobody's delivering it once that that system has gone to crap and there is no more distribution channels so you can pick guess what you can trade all that good stuff um, I'm not going to give financial advice on where to put your money. Um, some people want to buy gold, uh, silver, other precious metals. I myself, I personally like to invest in three specific precious metals. Uh, they are lead, copper, and brass. So whether it be you're picking up bulk ammo, um, like this 9mm, which is bulk, or... bulk 556 and this this ammo is actually um, looks great for its age it's older than me um, but all the ammunition is stored properly so it should last forever yeah even if you're not going out and spending a ton of money on the bulk stuff even if when you're out and about you just pick up just one extra box that's all you need one extra box you stick it in your safe over time it will build up that's all I do I mean yes I like to buy bulk but sometimes monetarily it's not feasible to, to blow a couple of hundred dollars on bulk ammunition and depending on where you live getting bulk ammo sent here to Connecticut is a real pain in the ass so I go shooting I'm at the gun store I'll just pick up an extra box or two of ammo and instead of expending it at the range pack it away for a rainy day it just sits in the safe over time it builds and builds and builds and builds that's just my best advice is invest your money wisely and uh, to me lead copper and brass is probably one of the wisest decisions you can make um, that's just a little PSA so if you could subscribe to the channel give the give the video a like throw some comments in there anything you guys want to see particularly um, such as the bags different types of guns setups uh, urban survival bugging in versus bugging out um, there's a lot of things um, a lot of ideas I have uh, just because I'm, I'm like you I watch other youtubers and <clears throat> I always laugh at um, when they're like oh yeah we're gonna do a review on X Y and Z and they always pull out the most expensive extravagant gear that money can buy which is great uh, unless you're living on a budget then is there things you can make yourself are there things um, that you can find alternatives for you know uh, one of the things I saw last night was instead of going out and buying a, a real big uh, Berkey filter system which, which is great but they're really expensive like four five six hundred dollars sometimes um, you can make one for under 50 bucks with a couple of big lobster pots some filters you know in a little bit of time and effort and you can cobble together basically what they're selling you on the cheap right I'm not gonna you know it's got no name brand to it but listen if tomorrow you woke up and the world was on fire and nobody cares about name brands they just care if it works or not so
that that's my mentality on that so obviously we'll talk about stuff like that all right so again subscribe give the video a like write down in the comments what you guys want to see and uh, we'll discuss all right sounds good all right so that's going to be it for the first video hope you guys enjoyed i mean it's nothing extravagant there's there's no me running around shooting things like in normal videos um this is just an introductory video of here's what we're going to be doing so let's discuss everything uh now if you heard some ambient noise going on that is because we are actually in my basement you can see my awesome pegboard behind me and uh I've got a family. They're upstairs walking around doing things. Uh, so, versus when I'm at the range and all you hear is gunfire in the background. At least here you might just hear some people walking around and maybe occasionally a dog barker or whatever. So, all right. I will see you guys in the next video. I'll talk to you guys later.